Let's say you're even just doing a seated forward fold. When we're doing deep stretches, not to be confused with dynamic stretches, which have their place as warmups, when you're doing deep relaxation stretches, the ideal idea is to relax as much as you can. We call this principle, number one of science of stretching, wet noodle. Imagine your body like an overcooked spaghetti noodle and flop and drop. Now, as you're expressing in this question, that's easier said than done. And very often you feel stuck, you feel locked up, you feel like you can't move without <laughs> engaging. If that's the case, back up of the pose. Why is engaging bad? It slows down your progress. Here's a way to think about it. If you went to the gym, let's come back to our bicep curls example. And instead of engaging your biceps as you did your curl, you took a really lightweight and just flopped around. Would it work? Yeah, it would work. Would it work as well? No, it wouldn't. You understand that. So the opposite is true for flexibility. Instead of focusing on those muscle fiber sarcomere contractions, we want to focus on relaxation when we're training flexibility. With that in mind, backing out of the pose, a gentler stretch with more relaxed will usually give you better results.